Welcome back to the channel, Crazy Carnivores. Um, I quite like that. I coined that last time. I think I'm going to. Um, I think I'm going to keep that. Anyway, so what we are going to be talking about today is um, the Carnivore six month update. I've been on the Carnivore diet, give or take a week or so. I'm not 100, percent but August, September, October, November, December, January. So six months. Yeah, it'll be six months. Oh, it's gone six months. Oh, wow. So yeah, I'm just over six months Carnivore. Um, I did take a week's break over Christmas, which I documented in a video. Um, feel free to check it out. It is on the channel. Um, but yeah, in this video, I'm just going to talk about what, what it's been like for them six months. Um, so let's get straight into it. Any goal that you set, you need to know your why. Why are you doing it? And for me, carnivore was the same. Why, why was I doing the carnivore diet? Was it just a fad? Was it because Joe Rogan was doing it? As all the plant-based people keep telling me, uh, you only did it because Joe Rogan does it. Um, which I did. <laughs> they were right. I did it because Joe Rogan does it. Um, I actually, the first time I saw Carnivore Diet, it wasn't Joe Rogan. It was um, my friend Richard was telling me about it. I saw more and more people were doing it. I saw the results that Joe Rogan had. Um, me and one of my friends talked about it at work. He's plant-based. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to give it a go. Um, I wanted to see, I wanted to compare it to being plant-based because I used to be a vegan. I don't know if I mentioned that. Did I mention I was a vegan? <laughs> How do you know if a vegan's a vegan? Don't worry, they'll tell you. Um, <laughs> so I saw the uh, I, I saw it on Joe Rogan. I wanted to have a go to see what it's like. So I compared, compared the two. I was going to do it for thirty days. Thirtieth um, day, I was ready to give it up. I was ready to quit. I was ready to go back to eating normal food. And I went in the gym and I was doing barbell curls. Um, you can watch my uh, thirty day update. I'll tell this story. Um, I, everything we do is real life in the fitness search. I don't bullshit. I was doing um, barbell curls and I could see the the lines, the fibers in my muscles where I burn off the intermuscular fat um, beginning to really show some definition. I was like, man, I haven't seen that. I mean, I'm 43 now. I hadn't seen that kind of definition in my muscles since I was in my 20s. So I was just, I was astounded by it. And at 30 days, I said, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do 60 and then 90. And I thought at that point, can start thinking about blood work and cholesterol and I can film some videos and this is going to be really good. I'm going to be able to get some kind of results um, to show other people. And then I've got something to record to show on my YouTube channel, which is even more important um, because those of you that know me know that I love my YouTube. Hence we're here now. Um, so yeah, that was my why. And, and I, I hit and I did really well. And the first three months were absolutely amazing. I loved it. I, I discovered a lot of things and I think you guys will as well if you're beginning to start out. And if you don't manage to finish or don't manage to continue it all your life, then that, that's not the end of the world. It's not about a pass or a fail or a quit or a not quit. It's about what works for you. And I talk about this loads. Um, so aside from the carnival stuff, we do a lot of um, coaching and mindset work. In fact, we've got a, a Facebook group, if anybody wants to join it, the link's in the description, where we talk about goal setting and um, different exercise and nutrition and well-being, and we've got a mental health nurse on board. And, you know, we, we do talk a lot about mindset, and the first three months on the diet really did test my mindset, uh, tested my resolve, because it is hard. Sugar is very addictive. And it is hard to give up, especially with Christmas coming up, knowing that um, I wouldn't be able to have all the things that I liked, which is why after 90 days or just coming up to Christmas from August, I decided to take a break. Um, and that's where things started to go a bit wrong because this diet's really hard to take a break from. It's like giving up sugar and carbs is like being an, an addict. And, and I'm not trying to dramatize things. Once you start back having the odd biscuit here and there or the high carb snacks or some pasta or something like that, it becomes really hard not to have that. And then you, then your whole mindset starts to change and it does get quite difficult. So I had a real tough time over December um, coming back into January. We're nearly the end of January now. Um, and I'm still struggling. I still feel the pull back towards living a um a regular life i don't want to say regular i don't use the word regular normal what is normal um what's normal to a spider is absolute chaos to a fly 
So I don't want to talk normal, but I'm talking mainstream where you go out and you eat pizza and kebabs and pasta. I don't I feel the pull to that, but I don't want to because the results, how I feel, nearly 44. I'll be 44 in October, so I'm not nearly 44. But I'll be 44 this year, and I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. I feel like I'm in the best position to achieve the goals physically and mentally that I want to achieve this year. And I do attribute that some of it to the carnivore diet, some of it to the mindset work we do, the, the journaling and the meditation in the morning, but the carnivore diet has definitely helped. Um, I feel much more settled into my diet now. And if Alan's watching this, hopefully he will. Uh, my friend Alan, who he's plant-based, so the wanderings of Alan and Kaz, I will tag them in the video. They've got a YouTube channel. It's, it's really good, but he's a plant-based guy. He used to say to me, you just need to get more consistent with what you're eating. Because I would be all over the place. I'd be from one diet to the next, to high carb, to low carb, to intermittent fasting, to having breakfast. And I was all over the place. And I feel that being on the carnivore diet, uh, I don't eat breakfast. I have mid-morning snack of two eggs. I have um, lunch of five rashes of bacon and four eggs. And then I have dinner, which is normally steak, um, pulled pork, belly pork, something like that. Um, and, and I'm just in that, I'm just in that, um, kind of flow now and that flow works for me so I guess six months in can I do a year will I be stood here in August saying I've got to a year I hope so one of the things that we talk about within mindset is if if you're setting a goal now and you don't see yourself still doing what it is you're wanting to do in six months time you might as well not start you know some people say oh, I want to learn the guitar okay that's brilliant you see yourself playing the guitar every day in six months time no don't bother then. <laughs> if you're not, you know, if, if you just want to test the diet for 30 days, then that's fine. But if you're saying, I want to be a carnivore forever, but you can't see yourself not eating red cabbage at Christmas like I did, then um, it's going to be really hard for you. So six months in, uh, I am without a doubt in the best shape that I've been in probably for the last 25 years. Um, my body fat is the lowest it's been since I was in my 30s maybe even maybe since I was in my 20s, I would say. Um, personal bests in the gym, right across. I've never in my life done 60 kilo dumbbell press, the each side. Um, and I'm, I'm repping that now, unassisted. Um, 125 kilo um, shrugs, unassisted. 75 kilo bench press, unassisted. I've never, I've never been as strong as I am at the moment. And is that down to the diet? Maybe so. Maybe it's down to me working harder. I don't know. But, you know, it's the diet's there. The results are there. What else can I say? Um, oh, and let's not forget that since I've been doing the carnivore diet, I've been recording these videos, and these videos have been going pretty well compared to anything else I record. So um, let's keep, keep these videos coming. You guys keep watching. I'll keep them coming. Um, don't forget, if you want to learn more about the carnivore diet or even about the mindset stuff, journaling, the meditation, you can join our Facebook group which is in the description below. You can always drop me an email as well. My email address is in the about section. Anything else you want to know, any questions you've got on health, fitness, nutrition, well-being, mental health, anything, where you get your hat from, any questions you've got for me, feel free to ask. I answer every single question and every single comment. Um, other than that, guys, go out there and achieve your goals and choose life.